Hi everybody, I want to introduce a new friend. This is Rhonda. Rhonda is a registered border collie that was bred for cattle work, not for sheep. So she's a line of border collie that's been raised for many years with a lot more um, grit and determination than the sheep herding border collies that will only use their eye. She uh, will put the whammy on something if she needs to. She's a very tenacious border collie. And the cool story about her is she actually used to be my dog. I bought her when we first bought the farm back in 2016, 2017 time frame, when Ronda Rousey was still uh, the champion of the UFC and that's how she got her name. So I have a little video, I don't know if I'll be able to get it off of my Facebook page, but I have it saved of when I trained her to do her basic cattle commands. And my buddy who owned a feedlot saw her work and how good she was with cows and ended up buying her from me with the stipulation that he would breed her and give me a pup someday. Well, he calls me up, it's been about six years later, and he says, you know, he's just not real great at raising pups. And before she gets too old, he would like pups out of her too. And he would said, he would just give her back to me if I would raise pups out of her. So that's the plan. Uh, she's about six years old now, so maybe seven. And- um, Probably just six. Oh yeah, just six, five or six. Yeah. Don't know. And we're going to uh, breed her to my friend, Matt Brookshire's Border Collie, who's also a good cattle working uh, dog. So they'll be full trained working parents. And since I've got her, I'm gonna go ahead and tune up her commands. And Friday, so uh, day after tomorrow, I have an appointment with a man that does field trials and border collie cattle working dogs. And he's gonna help me with my commands and tune me up on my handling ability. She's already, just in the week that I've owned her, paid off. So let me tell you a little story about what happened Saturday. Saturday, I got bucked off of the horse I've been training for a lady. And we were way up in the National Forest. Rhonda was with me and she had gone to the left side of the road chasing a squirrel. Horse bucks me off on the right side of the road and just leaves down into the woods, down the ridge, away from the road, away from the farm, still bucking and almost out of sight. When I see Rhonda fly back across the road, she had seen what happened and she went and headed that horse off and jumping up and barking at him and biting at him and it turned him and he went back around to the right and she cut him off again and jumped up and bit at him and barking at him and he turned him back the way he was going originally and then that time I'm standing up by this point and she runs up and hits him on the nose and bites him real good and that horse determined you know what it's a lot safer back there with JR than it is out here with this wolf and he turned and run right to me and stopped kind of scared of her and let me catch him where I know if she hadn't been there, we'd have had to have a search party in the Mark Twain National Forest because that's a 6,000 acre block of timber. And when a horse bucks you off that's not gentle or doesn't run straight home, there can be sometimes hard to find out there. So she's already paid off. Now we've skipped ahead till Friday and we're at my friend Doc Bryant's house. Doc Bryant is a Border Collie trainer and has owned these type of dogs for 20 or 30 years and had really good ones. So he's gonna more than teach Rhonda, he's gonna be teaching me on how to handle Rhonda because Rhonda's already trained. So for all of you that don't know what you're watching, when Rhonda's going around in this direction, this would be counterclockwise to the stock. It's always in reference to the stock that she should be working. So when she's going counterclockwise, we're giving her the command away to me or away. And then maybe when she's going the correct direction like she is there, we'll give another command like walk up. And that's, you know, sounds just like what it is. It means to walk up more. Then we'll tell her away and she'll go away some more. And the other command that we use all the time is a down, which is also just like it sounds. Now, one thing that we do struggle with with Rhonda is a stock dog should never come between you and the stock. They should always be going around to the 12 o'clock position. There, Doc just blocked her from going away and sent her on a come by. Come by is the clockwise um, 
direction or by to shorten come by we'll say by sometimes and that means to go around the stock clockwise this is just a day or two after i got Rhonda, so you have to realize that she's not used to taking commands from me and i'm not quite sure of what she was expecting of me as a handler so we're learning each other here as you see her get a little stuck on those commands Balancing is one of Rhonda's strong points. I've worked on this a lot since this initial film, and she's very good at it. And we've also come a real long way in my ability to handle her, and I've got her tuned up and working well on cattle. Even have some exciting uh, jobs coming up on helping people catch cows. Hopefully we'll get to follow those on the YouTube channel. Even as this video goes on, you can see how much better Rhonda is getting at taking the commands and working the cattle. Right there, I was trying that balancing again. For those of you that don't know, balancing is basically when you send the dog around to the other side of the stock, and she's supposed to balance that stock between you and her, meaning that she would be at the 12 o'clock position if you were looking at a clock dial from you on the stock. And then she would bounce back and forth between maybe uh, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock to keep that stock balanced. Just there, the calves were starting to think that maybe Rhonda would make them move, so I had her bite them, and she bit the back ankle really well there, called biting the heel. Rhonda does both heel and head biting very well when required of her. It's starting to become evident here, especially to any other Border Collie trainers, that the dog actually knows more than I do and that the, hand, the dog can only be as good as the handler. But don't worry, I'll learn and Rhonda will get better uh, along with me. Come by. Good. There, easy. Down. Rhonda, down. Rhonda, down. Good. Come by. No, come by. Come by. Rhonda, come by. Good. Easy, easy, easy. 
Easy. Bite him. Get him. Get him. Hit him. Oh, got it. Down. 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 Once again, totally Down. my fault. I Lay was down. trying to get her to speed the calves up, and I should have just let her do it on her own, and I caused her to go Away. around in front, front and bite the, the nose. Now front she's away. wound up and in Good. fight mode, and she's about to put the whammy on a calf without me telling her to. Let go. Yep, right there, she did kind of a little cheek bite on that calf and held it, and I had to tell her to let go. So she's plenty gritty, but now I'm going to need to back her off and get control again. Rhonda, away. Away. Good. Easy. Easy. Away. No. Away. Good. Easy. Come by. Bye. Down. Away. Good. It's an awful lot like work. Down. Bye. 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 Hey, down. Come down. Away. Get him. Down. Run it down. Away. Bye. 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 Down. Away. Hey, you guys are missing it. I'm getting it. Away. Away. Down. Run it down. I shouldn't have said nothing. Away. Easy. Down. Bye. Bye. Okay. Grabbed him a few times. Down. She's got a hold of the legs a couple times. Bye. Down. Walk up. Walk up. Good girl. Down. Walk up. Down. Bye. Walk up. Down. Down. Prana, down. Away. No. Down. Prana, away. Away. No. Away. Good. Now you're learning. You never let them make mistakes. That's how you Down. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Good. Down. Well, thank you for watching. I'm learning, getting the hang of it. Rhonda's doing a good job tolerating me. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe because the next Rhonda video that we have out there, we have a big announcement to make, a lot of cool footage that's already being edited and um, like I say, you know, we got some surprises in store, plus a whole lot more videos on cattle and on sheep with Rhonda. So stay tuned for the next one.